podium is good, but I was expecting more from you. We should have won. Hello there folks and welcome back to the Tour de France 2020 playthrough with Team Ineos. And today it is time for stage number 9. But before we get into stage 9, as always, we are going to reflect on the previous stage, which... Even though the sports director said was not great, personally, I thought it was a really good stage. Particularly because the results look worse than they are. Now, De Gendt uh, won the stage by 54 seconds. The guys that we were really interested in, especially for that yellow jersey, are Pino, uh, Fugslang and Rodglick. And as you can see, Thomas finished ahead um, of both of those, which is great. And Kwiatkowski, Bernal and Carapaz were in there as well. Chris Froome, Dennis and Castro Viejo a long way back. But a few other positives as well. Uh, Kwiatkowski took 30 points from the climbs in this stage. Definitely going to be looking at the climbs with Kwiatkowski in the future because he's a really good puncher up those climbs. Points classification, Kwiatkowski got himself 29 points. Well, he led the breakaway, so it was really good for him to get some points there. Young Riders, Bernal was the lead there. Uh, we were the best team of the stage. And competitivity, of course, again, the stage winner winning from that breakaway was the biggest guy uh, in that competitivity classification. So that leaves the general classification looking like this. Grant Thomas... Remains in 4th place. Carapaz gets into the top 10. He moves up into ninth place. And Bernal moves up into 12th. And Kwiatkowski also moves up 2 places into 15th place. Chris Froome drops down 2 places into 28th. Uh, Dennis moves down 11 places. Down to 43rd of course. Remember he did win stage number 5. And he finished quite a way back there. That's why uh, he is so far back now compared to where he was. And then Castro Viejo, our 1 remaining rider. Has dropped down 1 spot into 73rd. Best climber, though, Kwiatkowski had a brilliant stage, as we said before. He moved up six places into uh, into second place with 41 points. Quite a way back from De Gendt, but we're going to be targeting every single climb, hopefully from now on anyway, where, where we can uh, with Kwiatkowski to try and get that polka dot jersey. And Carapaz moved up eight places. Tom ups up nine. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Bernal stays where he is. Points classification. Uh, Dennis is still in sixth. Grant Thomas still in seventh. Uh, Kwiatkowski moved up 16 places. A really good stage for Kwiatkowski, to be honest. Cannot complain whatsoever about the pole there. Uh, Bernal uh, moves up five places into 34th. And Carapaz moves up six, pla six places into 44th. But Freeman Kras, Castro Viejo, no points there yet. Uh, Bernal stays where he is in the young rider classification. And in the team classification, Wheeling De Gendt is the main guy in the compatibility classification. But today, I believe it's a flat stage. But let's have a look what we've got in store. It's a day in the mountains. The finish isn't decided at the top of the climb, but the route is challenging, and it's an important day for the general classification. You'll have to be there on the final climb if we are to do well. We're able to follow the best and aim for top five. Have a good day, guys. Go, go! Hello, and welcome to all. The riders will come up against two major difficulties on this stage. The Ursa Sude sequence of Col, and then the Col de Marie Blanc. High percentage ascents that will excite the pure climbers, but they won't guarantee victory because the finishing line lies 20 kilometers after the last summit. Okay, then, folks, welcome to stage nine. I've gone forward a stage to what I thought we were. Um, it's a flat stage in stage number 10, so not quite there yet. Now, the plan today, Galloping is going, but we're going to wait till it. In fact, now we're going to go eat again. That is the plan, anyway, to go with Kwiatkowski. Uh, and form a breakaway with again today because there is a climb and a sprint coming up fairly quickly. So we're looking potentially uh, to get some points with Kwiatkowski there. But uh, what's the plan today? Well, the objective is to win the stage with Grant Thomas. He's one of the favourites to win the stage. Bernal is finishing the top 10 and Carapaz to finish in the top 5. So no pressure there. Um, we're going to get Chris Froome to protect Grant Thomas. Castro Viejo can just... Uh, Ride as normal because I feel like he's been sacrificed quite a bit throughout this tour. Um, but we're going to go with Kwiatkowski and Dennis actually. We're going to get Dennis to attack. Uh, and that's what we're going to do with Kwiatkowski as well now. So DeGent's going. Hopefully uh, Thomas will follow us. And we'll just get him behind Galloping. So I think Dennis is coming along as well. 
And this looks good. So we've got two riders in the breakaway. No surprise to Gent has come along with us because he is the, uh, the holder of the polka dot jersey. Of course, we're second in that race for the polka dot jersey. As you can see, none of the others really in the race for anything else. Galloping's another rider who's been uh, quite away uh, with the compatibility classification. But as you can see, De Gent's actually the highest guy in the classification. Dennis uh, has got some good points in the points classification as well. So that'll be interesting for the sprint. Uh, but um, four kilometres to go. It's all the first climb. It's fairly early. The first climb is today. We're going to take a reprieve from being the front guy in this group. It's only right. Try and work with our opponents. Do the same with... Uh, Dennis, he's looking fine. And this should be a good stage. Oh, there's an attack at the hell of its, ahead of the peloton. So quite a few little breakaways here. We're in the lead group uh, with Kwiatkowski. Dennis in that little group behind, but only about nine seconds back. Only one point available for this climb, but we'll try and take it with Kwiatkowski. Every single point's going to matter coming up to this uh, polka dot classification. Righto, nearly a kilometre away from that summit. Now, Dennis's group has caught up with us. I don't mind him taking the points here if he can. Just anyone to take those points away from uh, De Gent at this stage. So not the uh, biggest of climbs, as you can see. A fairly flat one, not really too taxing on us. But half a kilometre away, can Kwiatkowski get the points? It looks like we've really checked out from him, so that's great to see. So Kwiatkowski takes the first point of the day over the climb. Excellent to see. I'll probably wait for the... Other group to come in a second. But this is looking good for the moment for Kwiatkowski. Uh, there's a sprint coming up a little bit later. So who leads? Uh, I mean, Kwiatkowski's in 15th. It's whether we go for it with him or Dennis. It's a tricky one to know which one to go with. Because I think that even though Kwiatkowski is the guy that they're actually talking about here. The guy that uh, has got a little bit more potential. It's going to be tricky because, you know, Dennis obviously got the... Points uh, gap on him. He's got more points in this green classification. 53 points and uh, 84 points for uh, Dennis. But De Gent, another great guy in that uh, classification. He's doing really well, he's De Gent, in both classifications. Really impressive. Uh, mm, interesting. But the gap to the peloton is three minutes nearly now. We're just going to tail him behind our teammate Dennis. But we're working with our opponents. And uh, I'll see you guys when we come up to the, to the first sprint of the day. Oh, it's a faller. Well, I haven't seen that in person yet. Hopefully, I caught that a little bit before uh, the actual fall happened. But I haven't actually seen a fall in game yet. That's the first fall. It was a nasty fall coming down that hill. I don't know who that was. It was certainly somebody in this breakaway. Now, the problem is this breakaway is far too big. Yes, now, a decent breakaway is always good. But 17 riders aren't always going to want to cooperate with one another. So, this is a little bit worrying. I'll tell you what. We're losing a bit of ground with Kwiatkowski. We failed to sleep a little. Dennis is uh, close to the lead in the break, which is great stuff. Everybody's slowing down a bit now, but we just need to keep a weight with Kwiatkowski or else we could have uh, a rather silly demise in this breakaway. Get to near the front of that because, of course, the sprint is not too far away now. So two and a half kilometres away from this intermediate sprint. Let's try and get in the line here. That's pretty much perfect. That's okay. There's 20 points available for this first intermediate sprint. Really, the, ga the aim of the game is to beat the man, uh, De Gent, who is the most competitive in this field for that. But where is De Gent? He must be a little bit further back in this breakaway. Of course, he can't show the stats of everyone. But just over kilometres to go now. We'll uh, get Dennis to attack and try and get some points here as well. But we're also going to go with uh, Kwiatkowski as well. Okay. Come on, son. This will quickly come on us. We're looking good here with Kwiatkowski. Come on. This looks good. There's 20 points. Where did uh, Dennis get there? Get six points. Good good for him. Excellent. Right. Persist without limits. And just continue the effort for Dennis. He should be able to get back up to this group uh, Without any real ease. But great stuff from uh, Kwiatkowski. Takes the full 20 points there. De Gent only takes three points. That's excellent, to be quite honest, for him in that uh, points classification. Well done. Now, we've got the highest class climb next. I think if I'm right in saying there's 10 or 20 points available for this. So, this is another massive climb. Might not seem like the most exciting of stages today. But it's a big stage for particularly Kwiatkowski. Particularly in this early stage to try and take some big points away from the leader 
in the uh, polka dot jersey classification. Three kilometres away from the summit in this climb. There's 20 points available for the lead man over this. So it's a big climb. Um, we're going to get a feed shortly after this. Hence why we're using our feed. Now, Degen is one of the guys up with us, as you can see. First and second both in this. Oh, that's interesting. They're in the air. Well, that's uh, very interesting. But two and a half kilometres away. Um, we've told Dennis just to chill a little bit. No need to exert himself too much. He was starting to struggle in the breakaway bit. Of course, hasn't got the... Um, energy that Kwiatkowski has got after a few big stage for Dennis earlier on. So we've told him just to cool down uh, and obviously catch back up after this climb. But just over two kilometres to go, 20 points available for the man who leads over it. So as you can visibly see, it is massive. We took a point off Ghent earlier to Ghent, but uh, 20 points, of course, would be absolutely huge. Just consume a bit more of our feed. Two kilometres away, it's a really steep climb. This is an 11.9 kilometre climb. Um, at its worst, it's 8.5% as an ascent. So that's a really nasty ascent, but... Uh, this group of five, group of four actually now, but their Barguillas fell out of that. Uh, Costa, Kwiatkowski, Degent and Benut going for this climb. We're going to try and get a few points with Dennis as well, uh, when obviously it comes to the time. But we've just got to keep nicely placed here. Watch out for Degent, who leads now. This is going to be close, just all about going at the right time. Okay, we'll focus on Castro Viejo a little bit later. Worry about him a little bit later on. We haven't got the most blue energy left, so we've got to go at the right time. Man, I mean, the only real thing we've got to do here is beat uh, De Ghent. But it's going to be tricky. Just got to go at the right time. It's always tricky to judge what that right time is. Right, I think it's time to go now. Looks good. Come on, Kwiatkowski. Need all our energy over the top. Looking good. Get in there. Brilliant. And Degent's only third. Excellent. Absolutely fantastic. So we're going to go back to Dennis. See if we can pick up a few points with him. So Costa gets 15 points. Degent only gets 12. So we've took 8 points off him there. Absolutely excellent stuff. Try and pick up a few points with Dennis, but obviously because he's got so little blue energy left, it's going to be tricky to really make a sustained attack. But we'll be okay. As long as we just keep our pecker up coming up to the top. And there we go, outstanding stuff. I'm just going to make sure we keep an eye on Dennis. Don't need to blow up after all this hard work. Uh, Kwiatkowski, though, has got a really good lead at the front. But we just want to focus on Dennis. Oh, we want to make sure uh, Cash over Asia is all right as well. He's starting to lose uh, a little bit of tempo. We'll tell him to consume that blue feed. Uh, in fact, we better keep an eye on everybody else that come up. We'll tell them all to... Oh, in fact, maybe not. Oh, never mind. But now we'll consume that blue feed okay, now. I'll feed. I think Dennis should be okay. Okay, we're going to start coming down a hill here so we can get that... Uh, Get that blue gel up. Now, Kwiatkowski has got a good lead here and uh, does indeed start another climb. Oh, dear. I mean, only four kilometres up this next hill. Well, hopefully you should be all right there, Dennis. Fingers crossed. We'll tell him to work with his opponents. Uh... Yeah, I think the Peloton's just about okay here. I don't think there's anybody who really troubles that general classification. I could be wrong, probably apart from De Ghent. No, nobody who troubles the general classification, so not worried at the moment. That's absolutely fine. But let's get on board with Kwiatkowski. Let's see if we can take some more points. We could take, potentially, I don't think we can, but potentially we could do. We could well take that uh, polka dot jersey to that. That'd be absolutely awesome. But just look at the lead that Kwiatkowski has got going up this climb. We might as well just take a bit of a breather. But this is really good stuff. Well, as you can see, we have got a huge lead on just on just on Costa. 41 seconds all the way back there. So we don't need to overexert ourselves, but Kwiatkowski is doing really well here. De Ghent is in that third group. Hopefully, whoever's with him, who's with him. Hopefully, Benut will take some points off him as well. Uh, but, I mean, it'll only be three points we take off De Ghent here, but every little helps. We're making a real go for this classification now, though, aren't we? Absolutely fantastic stuff. Just a kilometre away from the top. I don't even think we've really got to accelerate too much coming up here. I don't think that Costa will catch. I wouldn't have thought, anyway. 
But uh, the yellow jersey, five minutes and 50 behind us. I think that's Fugslang or Rodgley, can't quite remember which one. But no need to overexert ourselves here. I mean, Costa's going to try and catch up. So we need to just watch out for that. Watch we don't get uh, exploited. But ultimately, Costa's going to burn more energy trying to catch up to us. Coming up just behind now. So we better go for it just to make sure. Start gapping Costa again. And it's going to be another five points, I think, here for Kwiatkowski. Towards the climbing classification. There you go. Absolutely outstanding stuff. It's looking really good at the front of this stage. Really, really good. Now, we've got this sharp descent. We will do it with Kwiatkowski as well as uh, Grant Thomas when he gets there. Because I'm only going to fear that one of our riders will fall off. I really don't want that to happen. Obviously, we're looking for Kwiatkowski for the stage. Uh, but equally, we're looking for... Grant Thomas to, well, they want Grant Thomas to win the stage, which, you know, from that far back, I can't really see happening, but I guess you never know. But for the moment, there's nobody really gen uh, ch challenges the general classification up here, so I don't think we've got really got to worry with uh, with our guys in the peloton. But we've got two more climbs left today. This will be a nice reprieve for uh, Kwiatkowski. He'll also get another feed when he comes to the bottom of this uh, climb, so he might as well just take all of his pink uh, feed or red gel. I always call it pink. I don't know why. Take his red gel and uh, I'll just make sure he gets down here and also start to make sure we can control some of the other riders as well. Make sure it's a good team effort and that everybody's okay. But for the moment, really positive, particularly for Kwiatkowski who leads uh, by 28 seconds. So we're in the Peloton group at the moment, which as you can see is catching up to uh, the breakaway group. But another five points available for the guys at the front of that breakaway group, which obviously includes uh, Kwiatkowski as well but this peloton is looking just about okay just tell our guys set a high tempo uh, but Kwiatkowski looks good for some more points Dennis is on his own uh, just going to tell him to probably persist smoothly no need to overexert himself he's done a good job today and he'll just be back in the peloton probably for the end but 4.4 uh, kilometers away for these guys Kwiatkowski has had a brilliant stage it'd be such a shame for him not to win it now but some great points uh, in the climbers and points classification. And we've two climbs to go. He's got more opportunities to do some good stuff. Is De Gent in this group? Yes, he is. So coming up to the summit then of this climb. We have took maximum points in every climb so far. I just feel like this one might be a little bit trickier. I don't know what it is about it. We're going to follow Banu. Just try and get some of our energy back. As you can see. Uh... I think Dennis is back into the pellet now, which is no problem. De Gent actually falling away from this group a little bit. So he might be out of energy or just trying to get his energy up a little bit for the climb that is coming up now. Come on, Kwiatkowski. Got to go at exactly the right time. And they're going for it. Been caught napping a little bit there, but he's a very good puncher. Not really surprised given that we're climbing up here now. Come on, Kwiatkowski. Might blow up before the top, though. We might have gone a little bit too early. We have. Oh, man. Come on. We get over there in second. That's okay. We went a little bit early there. We just reacted to everyone. Really, we shouldn't have done. But uh, De Gent doesn't get any points there. We take another three points away from him. Really good stuff. But one climb to go. And uh, let's see if we can take some more points there. Of course, we've got a time advantage. I don't know if the peloton will be able to catch up by then. But we'll have to see. Interesting, though. It's been an interesting end to the race. Definitely a chance... For Grant Thomas to potentially win the stage. Two clones to go of this horrible climb. It's a really nasty climb here. But as you can see, we've got a great lead with Kwiatkowski coming up the climb. So nothing to worry about here. Uh, Rodlick is making a bit of a push for it here. But I'm not too fussed about that. As you can see, uh, Fuslang, the leader uh, and uh, the yellow jersey holder at the moment, is uh, with the group of Carapaz. So that's absolutely no problem. Attack behind, apparently. Well, there you go. Not going to overexert myself here. Rodlick, the uh, well, has got a yellow jersey. So I think he is. He's third in that yellow jersey. I don't really know how he's got a yellow jersey unless that's his team colours. I suppose that would make sense. But a kilometre to go here. Rodlick not really going for this. Obviously, apart from that bonus, time bonus. We're going to try and take as much of that off him, of course. Obviously, to help the guys uh, in our group. 
Right. Going to go at the right time here. Not too worried about uh, Rodgelick. I know Fuglang and Rodgelick will get some points here for uh, and some time advances, but you'd think they'd be knackered. I mean, I suppose it might have been the right move to take, possibly, because it'll be a close finish, but just to look how much the field is spread out, it might be a bad move. I don't think it's the best move in the world. Going to go for it, though, here. Obviously, 10 points for the climbing classification. That's what we're bothered about. Got a good gap now. This looks good. And Kwiatkowski picks himself up 10 points. Yes, I know Rodgelick's going to get himself a 5-second advantage, which is great uh, for him. And Fuglang's going to get a 2-second advantage. But not too worried, to be honest. We've got the sprint coming up in a little while. Only 18 kilometres to go. Grant has started to fall back. We're going to make sure that Grant is okay. Tell these guys to consume their blue gel. And uh, get on Grant Thomas. We don't want him to fall back at all here. I mean, he's had a blow up. How's that been allowed to happen? The group with the favourites is one minute away. It's absolutely fine. No need to worry, I don't think, here. Grant should be able to catch back up again over the climb. Yeah, it is because that team has yellow jerseys. That makes sense. But come on, Grant. Let's go. Want to be in it to win it here. And hopefully will be. Should be able to catch up to that next group. Which includes our other two or three guys. I don't think Froome's in that group now. But I know that uh, Carapaz and Banal are in there. Yep, Carapaz and Banal are in there. As you can see, they're just up the road. It's going to be an interesting finish now. Kwiatkowski's got a big lead. Will he be able to help his teammates later on? Right, get that aerodynamic position now. We've made a decent gain on our... Uh, our competitors. Ten kilometres left for the man the front. Another short effort and he'll have it won. Well, it seems to think that Kwiatkowski's going to win this stage. We've told our guys to try and catch up to Rod Click for the general classification. But for the points classification and for Kwiatkowski as a whole, this would be absolutely fantastic. I think our guys behind are going to be okay. We'll keep an eye on those with about five kilometres to go. But it looks like Kwiatkowski's going to win the stage. Real surprise here. Has to be said. Now need to ride hard. Just keep an eye on the rest of our guys who now actually make up the peloton. Uh, do, 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 do. Yep, crack catch Roglic. Uh, Froome's quite a while off. We'll just tell him to well, actually take his blue gel. That seems to make sense. Same for Dennis. And just tell Casho Viejo to persist smoothly. Don't over tire, actually. Dennis, uh, try and catch that group in front. Same goes for Chris Froome. Again, a long way back now, so he's not going to trouble the general classification. As you can see, quite a few big guns for the general classification in this, uh, in here. So, this should be interesting. Let's, uh, get Banal to protect Thomas. And then hopefully we should be okay. Well, it should be a solo victory for Kwiatkowski, who's done a brilliant job in this stage. We'll go back to the other guys with two kilometres to go and try and put an attack in. As you can see, Carapaz being left behind a little. Tell him to continue the effort. But this is outstanding stuff from Kwiatkowski. So pleased. Such a brilliant stage. And it's going to culminate in a stage win, hopefully, for him. Really great stuff. We will go back that. Oh, I mean, oh, we can't celebrate because we need to just focus... On Grant Thomas. So we know that, uh, well, we've got it won with Kwiatkowski. We're not going to be able to celebrate that, though, unfortunately. We've got a whole pink feed to consume here. I mean, Rojlik's going to make a good uh, time gap up, unfortunately, today. I mean, Kwiatkowski wins the stage, which is excellent to see. Obviously, just tell Bernal to attack. Same goes for Carapaz here. 
Try and make up the time on Thomas. He's going to get the podium. I mean, it, oh, I mean, Rodgelik made a little bit of a gap today. That was quite sneaky from him, actually. Carapaz is going to be okay. Uh, so is Chris Froome. We better just uh, take control of Dennis, though, just to make sure he doesn't uh, exert himself too much. I mean, yeah, a little bit concerned, really, in the end by that, because, well... The yellow jersey holder finishes in six behind us. So we made up some good time with Grant Thomas and with Kwiatkowski. But, yeah, I mean, Rodgelik finished 23 seconds in front. It's just one of those stages where it's really important. Hmm. We'll analyse it after, but not a bad stage. I mean, we won the stage, for goodness sake. Maybe not with the man we wanted to win it with. But nonetheless, good stuff. I think that was a good stage. But as I said, we'll just get to the finish with uh, Dennis. And then we'll have a look at how it went afterwards. So, enter the stage winner. Kwiatkowski, what a brilliant stage that was. Outstanding stuff. A really individual effort. Fantastic over the climbs and in the sprints. Made up a lot of ground today in both the green points classification and the polka dot climber classifications. Absolutely excellent stuff. Remember, that last one was a sprint. So, I do wonder who maybe is leading that points classification now. I think Roglic is going to take the yellow jersey. He does. Obviously, he got a good lead over everybody else. About 20 seconds at the end of the stage. And that could prove critical. We were caught napping a little bit by him there. But these things happen. Hopefully, we'll get that time back at some stage. The leader of the points classification. It's got to be close. I mean, Kwiatkowski won both sprints, I think. He did, didn't he? Sagan is the leader of the points classification. As I said, it's got to be close. Best climber is still De Gen, But we took some critical points off him today with Kwiatkowski. Next classification, which is the... Is that the Young Rider classification up next? Yeah, Young Rider, Evan Apo. And let's have a look at what our uh, sports director thinks of that stage. Probably all moan. Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. I hope that we'd play a leading role. But from that, to win this stage, you have put in a superb performance. Well done for this win. Oh, no, I was wrong, but great stuff for Kwiatkowski. He gets an 18-second bonus. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Roglic gets an 11-second bonus. Forgot about that, but Thomas gets himself a 4-second bonus. Bernal was up there as well, as well as Carapaz. I mean, Froome was fairly competitive in the end there, so pretty pleasing for him. Best climber, though. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. We took 27 points off the lead of De Gent at the top of that classification. Points classification... 40 points for Kwiatkowski. Won both sprints. Absolutely fantastic. Young rider, Bernal just below Evan Apo, who finished, where did he finish? Fourth place. Going to be tricky to beat him. Team classification, of course, we wiped the floor of everybody. And compatibility, of course. Uh, it was Kwiatkowski at the top. It's got to be close now. Really has got to be close for that polka dot and green jersey. Well, Roglic has took the lead of the general classification. Pernau has fe fell down a little bit. From second to fourth. Grant Thomas though now in the top three. I think he's gained a little bit of time on Fuglang. Obviously Rodgelik uh, gained a lot of time on everyone. Bernal up one place into 11th. Kwiatkowski up three places into 12th. You know he's, he's done really well. He could considerably. He could well quite conceivably be our second man. Uh, at some point in that uh, general classification. He's done that well. Chris Froome moves up three places. Great to see for him. Dennis uh, moves down one place. Castro Viejo is really a liability at this point. But he moves up three places. Good for him. Best climber. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. One point now separates Kwiatkowski and De Gens at the top of that classification. Benut and Costa move themselves up 12 places. Uh, absolutely fantastic for them. Carapaz moves down three into seventh. Thomas down three into ninth. Not really bothered about climbing apart from Kwiatkowski. Points classification then. Kwiatkowski moves himself up nine places. Thomas up two places. I forgot how far back Kwiatkowski, uh, Kwiatkowski actually was in that points classification. But still, excellent stuff. Young Riders, Bernal moves up one place. Obviously not helped by the fact that Evan Epo is in fifth in that classification. We need to be realistic, really. What happened at stage two has really ended this tour already for Bernal. I mean, there's probably only the four guys in it. Rodgelik, Fugslang. Thomas and Pino at the top. You've got to make that uh, clear, really, at this stage. But good stuff from... I mean, there could still be a faller. We did see a faller. I mean, it could all bend badly for Rodgelik, Fuslang and Pino. We simply never know, I suppose. Um, but nevertheless, a very, very good stage. Only one point away now from being the best climber. But 
The next stage is a flat stage. All of our riders get a recovery bonus of two, which is excellent to see. Uh, I mean, look at that. All of them in really good condition. We've got a rest day up next. Probably That's uh, probably why the guys are so well balanced. But we've got a rest day, and after that rest day, it's a flat stage. So time to recover, recuperate, and stay inside the peloton. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and without any difficulties. But be on your guard as the wind can lead to Bordeaux. You'll have to be on your guard and not get caught out, because this is the sort of stage where you can lose a lot of time on the general classification. Beware of the wind. Have a good stage. Should be an interesting one. Looks like a fairly boring stage. No climbs to speak of, just two sprints. But as has been said, um, well exposed to winds, so... Again, the peloton could really split up. Could be an interesting one again. Uh, the stage after this, another flat stage, and then oh my god, quite a few sprint, uh, uh, quite a few climbs. But for the next two days, it's really just about staying inside the peloton uh, and getting some points on the sprints. But uh, an interesting one today. Very good stage. We've won our second stage with Kwiatkowski. Um, I think we probably need to start to be a bit more aggressive with Grant Thomas if we're going to make some time up on the top two. But we are still very competitive in the race for the Tour de France, albeit with the wrong man. But if Grant wins it, I really couldn't care less. Really good stuff. We can win the Tour de France. Um, but until the next time, thank you very much for watching. We've also got a good chance in the points and climber classification, haven't we? Great stuff. Um, if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts as well. And subscribe for daily Tour de France content until stage 21 when we get to the Champs-Élysées. Thank you for watching. And until the next time, I will see you all later. Goodbye for now.